Hey Legionnaires, and welcome back, we're here with another glorious This is our battle for you today, and this is the Battle of the Pyramids. We are here in the boiling hot deserts of Egypt, as Napoleon continues his campaign for the conquest of Egypt from the Ottomans and the Mamluks. And we are here with a glorious 4v4. We have four French armies against three Mameluk and one Ottoman army. So uh, yeah, I'm expecting lots of cavalry in this one, and the Mamluks bring a lot of cavalry usually, so I'm expecting cavalry hordes to be charging on French squares, and I'm sure this French cavalry is going to be very overworked here today. Um, this was, in history, as you may know, the most famous victory for the French. Actually, the Sars here being hit, what are they being hit by? Cannons back there, maybe? I'm not sure, but they got hit out of nowhere. This is the most famous of the French victories in the Egyptian campaign. I mean, the French had around 20 to 25,000 troops against between 20 and 60,000 Ottomans. Uh, the Ottomans losing about 10,000 to the French using a mere 289. Pretty impressive stats, if I may so, so myself. Napoleon making himself a legend here at this battle. And uh, it goes on to obviously have a few more successful battles in this campaign before ultimately being defeated and forced to return to France. But we will see whether history can be changed here today. Do you think the Ottomans and the Mamluks have a chance of winning this one? I don't know. Maybe they do. We'll have to see. That is sure. Like, the sheer amount of cavalry could certainly be effective. But here we go. Dragoons. Managing to get pretty close to a Mamluk cavalry unit here. I have literally no idea how good this cavalry is for the Mamluks. But the Dragoons, you know what? They're not to be messed around with. Oh my gosh. Look at their sheer amount of cavalry. These Mamluk cavalry units are massive. Doesn't mean they're good, but they're massive. That is for sure. But yes, if you're enjoying NTW3 on the channel and would like to see some more historical battles, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated as we work towards 7k subs. And if you want to make sure you don't miss out on anything NTW3, then make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified about every single NTW3 battle, stream, and yeah, we are, we'll get straight on to this. Look at this Rainier here. I mean... He's pretty successful in, in Napoleon's armies. He goes on to, I know he's at like Leipzig and stuff like that, in charge of like the Saxon Corps there. Uh, he was pushing on a bit deep. He's actually very much in enemy line, lines right now. Getting supported by a cavalry here, Dromedary Cavalry. But uh, yeah, the Ottomans, if I remember correctly, have some pretty big artillery pieces. So I imagine this is what is currently shelling the, uh, the French. The French also do have their own artillery pieces here. Four pounders trying to respond, hit this uh, fast moving cav. But I guess the Mamluks just waiting for the right opportunity to strike on the French. The French right now looking pretty tight. They've got a lot of uh, tight formations going on at the moment. Well protected with stakes. But yeah, just looking for the right opportunity. The cavalry here in behind Dragoons. Lots of Dragoons actually in reserve cavalry. Uh, Leger. This is actually Joachim Murat. Uh, his uh, like cavalry regiment here. So we could turn around and strike into them potentially. Oh, I can see at least one carry charge has taken place. We did kind of miss it, but yeah, a failed carry charge here by the Mamluks. Onto a lot of mercenaries. A mercenary has been brought by the French. These guys can't form square, but they are certainly the sort of units that maybe they, uh, the Mamluks will have to target. The Ottomans here, they're bringing some pretty solid infantry. These actually look kind of well organized, well trained, because often you can just see like they're in like hordes. But these actually guys. Uh, these guys actually look like they're in like lines, regimented lines. Often the like Mameluk and Ottoman infantry is just more like spread out and just scattered and just looking chaotic. Um, but yeah, so certainly it should be interesting. It'll be interesting to see if these French just turn around and just turn on these uh, Mameluk units here. Look like they might be about, yeah, the Mameluks here look like they're going to go for a charge. Here we go. The Yokimura was ready for it. Oh, they can fire guns. Okay, fair enough. There you go, look at this. Yokimura going to catch this unit here. Probably will route it. Yeah, there you go. One gone. Really nice little charge there. And losing, like, little little troops. Really well done there by the French. I mean, hopefully they can keep that up. But it's an attrition game on that, on that uh, cavalry, that is for sure. They're setting out little units like this to try and shoot the, uh, the Mamluks, I think. Just try and get them. And they can form square. So they are kind of safe from that cavalry charge if they have to be. Is this a general? I don't know, it's a small unit of cavalry. Maybe it's just be a light cavalry scouting unit. It looks like he's uh, kind of charging. Look how like the swords are raised. That looks like he's just ready to charge into battle. But yes, I am certainly looking forward to this one. I mean, this is oh my gosh! Look how close this cavalry can get without before it gets spotted. That was literally like 
in the cavalry charge like range of like oh yeah they they just got gunned down over here what was this is the grenadiers Liz uggers getting just gunned down here uh gunning down sorry the uh Calvary. They're doing a really good job. But I'm really excited for this one. We don't often see the Ottomans and the Mamluks. It's only really in the Egyptian campaign battles, which is fine. Um, they are quite interesting, but it's certainly just a whole different aspect of NTW3C. It's a lot more carry play than infantry, like line battles and bayonet charges. Um, and it certainly is going to be unorthodox for the French to fight in. That's for sure. But I believe we have, anyway, we have two uh, Dassou armies. I believe we have two Dassou corps, and then we have um, two Bonaparte cores as well, just in case you're interested. I know people do uh, uh, wonder sometimes. Some mercy Bedouins here. I think they're about to get charged here by the uh, Mamluks. They're going to feel the full force. They might be get routed before they go in. Yeah, they route just on impact. Oh, jeez. The uh, cannons need to be careful there. Another charge here coming from the Mamluks. They're going to go in. I think they're going to go for the guns. Yeah, I think they might make it. The, cav uh, the infantry did form square. Yeah, they really want to go for these guns. There they go. They made it. Uh, the guns, I look like, look like they're going to get broken. Yeah, they are being broken. Successful charge, you can see, really, for the Mamluk cavalry here. That's what they want to do. They want to take out these guns. Um, because they're really the rate, the main threat to this uh, cavalry. Like, whilst they're, uh, like, this far out. Like, this cavalry's actually got in and out as well. And it's not broken. Good thing these stakes are pointing the other direction. So they didn't get, just get speared on their retreat as well. Also, with the guns, it forces the French to be aggressive. Really, because they could otherwise just get shelled by the Ottoman artillery, which is somewhere back there in the distance. I mean, we can see... Oh, it's, yeah, you can see where the, uh, where the flashes of the guns are. Also, you can kind of guess where they are with the stakes. You can just presume that the guns are so far back after the stakes. So there's clearly a gun emplacement here, and maybe another one here. Or maybe they're just setting up extra stakes to protect that massive gun emplacement they have on this hill. I mean, this is a prime hill spot here for the... Uh, for the artillery. I mean, we are just on a random uh, Egyptian map, by the way. Unfortunately, it seems like there is no Battle of the Pyramids map for NTW3, which is really bizarre, because you have one in base game. Oh my gosh, yeah, the Ottomans have brought stacks of infantry here. So much infantry ready to go. And it's all fairly good infantry, by the looks of it. I don't know, the Ottomans clearly just spent all their money on infantry. And then they've left the, the Mamluks to deal with the cab, which is not a bad idea. Looks like it anyway. I mean, this is not like lots, but it's more than I expected of the Ottomans to be able to bring. Of, like, good infantry. They might be able to deal with these. I mean, they seem like they're out of, not quite out of range, but certainly getting outranged by these um, mercenaries at the moment. It seems outgunned, for sure. The mercenaries aren't exactly accurate, though. But being this aggressive with the French, it's uh, the, all this infantry here in the front line, most of it can't form square, so they are in danger. Yeah, certainly interesting to see what goes on here. See this, uh, the mercenary Bedouins out here, they're dueling with some um, Mameluk infantry, just some skirmishers. Doesn't seem like these Bedouins can really deal with just having a few shots fired at them. They actually, their morale is going down pretty quickly. We have actually got some proper Mameluk infantry here as well, so uh, maybe they haven't gone all cavalry. I imagine they do have a lot more cavalry than the French. They, don't, they haven't gone entirely all cavalry. Not today. Guys, okay, so if you want to get involved in some of these glorious NTW3 scenarios, then the best place to do so is to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. Or if you just want to send me your own NTW3 replays. You're like, Pope, we need to see, you need to check out this battle. It's that glory. It needs to be on your channel. And I'll give it a look. Just join the Discord. Drop me a replay. Maybe you just want to come and chat. Chat to me or some fellow subs about history, total war. Maybe not even anything to do with that. Maybe just how your day's been. Then you're more than welcome to come join. And you'll find a really great and friendly uh, community. But yeah, that poor guy there. He was uh, he, he got domed by an artillery piece there. He took a full force of that cannon. But it seems as though the French doing a little bit of ground on this far flank here. Didn't really like this fight. I mean, they were taking actually a lot of casualties here. Oof, yeah, not looking too great. The uh, mercenaries over here, though, seem like they're dueling okay. Not seems like neither side can really hit each other that effectively. There are some bodies, but it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like the Ottomans are taking that many casualties. Maybe the uh, mercenaries are taking a few more. Let's have a look. Yeah, not really. Taking a few, one or two, but not many. 
French infantry units out here that are being routed. How did this happen? Oh, just mercenary Bedouins. Oh, no, this is the artillery as well. Oh, this is just all the stuff we've seen already broken. And the French just given ground then by the looks of it. No, they haven't at all. It's, why were they out there? It's so bizarre. They've retreated out there. That's such a weird place to go. But yeah, it seems as though we're going to just see... Wow, yeah, look, these um, Mamluks here, they're just going to just harass the French from distance. And that's how they're going to deal with it. It's going to be a very, I feel like it's going to be a slow, but a new, like a very attritional sort of fight here today. And the Mamluks really just going to be this low and just go and milk some kills, going to run down this unit. It looks like it. What absolute bastards. I mean, the French infantry, if I remember, does get outranged by the Mameluk and the Ottoman infantry. If I remember correctly, that's from uh, my time of doing like battles for. Uh, I did Heliopolis, and Heliopolis, that was a chaotic and brutal fight. Okay, get right down to the wire. If you haven't checked out the Heliopolis battle, I definitely recommend you go and do so. I still have PTSD from facing so much cavalry, but. Um, yeah, I remember them saying that, um, uh, the players saying in that game that the French infantry was actually outranged. So even like things like Laguerre and so like, could not even reach them. Um, what I have been looking for, because it's kind of iconic with the Egyptian campaign. Got a uh, four pounder going off over there. Is one of those really large units of infantry. Which I don't think the French are bothered to bring to. They've got an eight pounder as well. Maybe they just thought it was not worth it. We've got lots of, a big mass of cavalry over here. Oh, maybe I take it back. I found one. 291 man unit. Look at that, and it can form square. What a scary unit. I think there's one that does. Yeah, well, I mean, it might be that one I'm thinking of, actually. But it's basically 300 men in a unit. It's an incredibly good unit Sir. to have. Sir. Our general is under attack. General under attack? I think he's. Oh, it's Napoleon Bonaparte as well. Napoleon's getting shot at. Um, I think it might just be rogue shots. I'm not sure. But yeah, we've got our three here. Four pounds, I think the pound just pounding that infantry line ahead of them. That's what I'd be doing. The French are taking a bit of a battering as they're marching forward. They're just letting their mercenaries kind of absorb this early fire, I guess. And then they're just going to send in, I mean, they've got grenadiers back here. They've got lots of decent line infantry. The grenadiers should do okay. But then the Mamelukes and the Ottomans are pretty decent in combat as well. So it's not, a, not an easy fight. Uh, talking about Mamelukes. I've just seen a whole bunch of them start to appear on this side, including line infantry. Which is now all starting to disappear, but there is line infantry here over. Which, again, doesn't look like it's too ragtag. It looks like it's okay, but yeah, the skirmishes right now. They, the French are short on skirmishes. Need some over here. Look, uh, they did lose their skirmishes here. Are we going to see maybe a... I think this skirmisher uh, fight is really just to try and lure out the French cab. The Sassars here look like they're going to get ready for a charge. Onto the skirmish line. Uh, the Mamluks have cav or camels, I should say, ready to go. If the uh, the French try this, but yeah, I mean the French, I go wide and then charge in. It looks like they're going to need a second unit. The dragoons, the guard, capet here. Pretty solid unit. Is it? This is like an average cavalry unit to be called a guard unit, but there you go. Oh, there's so. Oh gosh, yeah, lots of Mamluk infantry now being appearing. Oh, and these are all like melee infantry. Oh, okay, so the Mamluks are going, like, melee infantry style over here. This is interesting. That is for sure. Oh, and they actually... Did they try another charge here? No, they didn't. They didn't actually succeed. They held back. There's lots of cavalry, though, over here. I'm kind of just holding... Keeping my gaze over here just for now, because it looks like the cavalry or the French might try something. Oh, it certainly is a big build-up now of cavalry on both sides. You can see the Mamluks bringing cavalry across because they realize that they're going to need more there. But it does look as well as though the French making big pushes over here now as well. Here we go. Yeah, the French coming forward with their main line of retreat. And oh my gosh, is there so much trash from the Mamluks. Look at that horde of peasants. We are also seeing all of these mercenary Bedouins here being routed by cavalry. This is not good. The little flank force here is just kind of protecting that French line infantry. Is it very much in danger? And they need to push up Cav here. Here we go. The French lines now into action. Can they all form square? No. I know mean, this Laguerre can't. Again, from experience. But most of the line infantry can by the looks of it. And they're all in different colours. I love, I love how the French famously 
famously in blue, but today they're in pink, reds, greens, all sorts. And they, I think they know which one is can't form squares. It's Laguerre here, a second in on the right or left, depending on what. They're going to go into combat. They're going to put as many of these units in combat, I feel like it. Are they going to form square? Smart play there by, uh, by the Bonaparte player. Going to form square first before he goes into combat, so the cavalry can't take advantage. But I think they know this Laguerre here can't form square. It doesn't matter because the French cab arrives. Yokimura coming to the aid of Bonaparte. Not for the first time or the last time, I'm sure, in his career. But it looks like he's going to get routed here, maybe. It's a second cavalry charge here. Uh, that's not looking so good. Morale not looking great here. Come out winning, but I don't know yet. Getting routed. Oh, it's a shame. And then we have Laguerre pushing up here, actually helping to break this unit here. We've got some interesting looking Ottoman units here. These guys, are they archers? These guys legit archers or something. They've got their swords out now, or whatever they are. Oh boy, and Cavalry coming into the back lines. Hitting this square unit, but the uh, Laguerre here is not in a good spot. Yeah, that might break. That Laguerre is going to break. The Cavalry broke, but also so did the Laguerre. And yeah, the French having to make a hasty retreat. Look at all this crap. A bit. This is what I'm meaning about, like, just like... These are regimented infantry. You see why I'm surprised? Because this is what i uh, seeing this lot. Because I'm usually seeing armies of this. Just armies of trash coming up and assaulting French lines. That's usually, like, how these battles go. Looks like we also saw another cavalry charge back here. On to trying to take out Bonaparte, it looks like. I don't know. Kind of looks like that's how it went. Good thing he's got the 75th of the line here to protect him. His personal bodyguard, it seems, today. Really sneaky charges going on here from the uh, Mamelukes. So sneaky, I don't even realize. Another charge coming in here by the looks of it. Can this line of retreat form square in time? The Invincibles? No, they won't. Oh, yeah, they did just. It is an arch unit here. It's kind of a cool unit. It can also go to melee. Well, obviously it can, but it will get his sword out, I'm saying. Uh, but the thing is, now this unit, you can see the infantry kind of having to abandon this, the uh, Les Invincibles. It's a cavalry, and the infantry kind of pin it down. It's a problem. It looks like it's not in square anymore. It's actually, yeah, it's just going to retreat. The dromedary's here, scaring off the cav. If I had the dromedary's now, I'd just break this infantry. They need to get these uh, mercenaries oh, back, because otherwise they will be next to fall. The Sioux here needs to retreat his men. Not a good start there. I mean, it's been an okay start for the French, but the trauma just break just like that. We literally look away for a second. No, no, they're still alive. What broke then? Uh, just, yeah, just the Laguerre. It's not bad. I mean, both sides took some losses, but I feel like the French came out of that one a bit worse off. They lost the Laguerre unit. I mean, the Mamluks lost a few cavalry units, but they have plenty of cav. Oh, big cav fights now over on this flank here. The Cav here, I mean, Dragoon's doing an early victory, but they're going to lose a Dragoon, uh, the guard, La Capette, there, and they've lost more Dragoons, La Capette. And the Hussars here as well. Had the 70, oh, the 75th of the line, oh, the 85th of the line, sorry. Not form square in time, but it seems like the Mamluks might give them a, a wide berth for now. They need to form square. A volley, boys? And they need to form square. It looks like the French are going to get overwhelmed. Well, bar this one. We've got the, uh, the Dragoons from Bourbon, the Bourbon Dragoons. Prefer a custard cream myself, but that's just me. That's also another terrible and very British joke, I feel. There you go, Bourbon uh, Dragoons. They look like they're going to scare off the cavalry for now, but that's fine. It's not really a victory for the French again. The Mamluks routed a lot of French cav there, and they have, like I said, plenty more cav. This one Bourbon Dragoon is not going to be able to tie down three Mamluk cav. And you can see he's already in a bit of trouble here. And he looks like... He, is he running? Is he seriously? Look at this. He's he's wavering. Very tired. Morale is not looking great. He needs to sort of like get this unit back to his only line infantry. Just and pray that he gets spared. But it looks like he's going to charge straight in here. He's so tired. He could just break on the, on the impact of the charge. Yeah, it was not a great charge. And all it requires now is just one of these Mamluk caveats. So just, yeah, look at that. It doesn't even matter. I was about to say all it requires is one of the Mamluk cavalry units to come in behind and break him. Broke straight away. This is why you don't need to uh, rest up your troops. And there you go. The Bourbon Dragoons are gone. They would have been better off with custard creams. And now all this infantry over here, kind of without any cav. 
They're kind of screw. Oh no, they're not. There is one. Does this rally? I think this must have rallied. There's another Bourbon Dragoon. Well, these must have been the crust of creams all along. But yes, this cav here it really needs to somehow get back to its own infantry. It needs to somehow pray because they need to protect this. They're like French infantry does okay in the uh, Egyptian campaigns, but it really could do better when it has uh, cavalry support, like a lot better. It's why I feel like in Egyptian campaigns you have to always play defensive with your cav as the French. Like, you can't be aggressive because you can't go dashing off with the one Mameluke unit because you don't realize how many more you're probably running into. And if, if even if you're not running into any more, there, even if you're not running into any more, you're chasing after one while another two are going in after your artillery or into your infantry. It's just like one of those games. You have to be really, really careful with your cavalry. It's an absolute nightmare. So yeah, um, I certainly feel like at this point, the French have lost more than 298 men. I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, it could, it could be worse. They could have had a worse target to try and beat, like Mount a month of all when we did that one. The, famously, the French had like two losses, I think. And that was it. Um, so yeah, month of all, uh, the French just about won that one when we, uh, when we did it. Sorry for spoilers. But uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully... Hopefully the French can turn this one around. It's been a rough start. I'm not saying they've, they've lost. They've certainly not. They've got a lot of troops left. You can see this thick red line still going on. Lots of troops. We don't know how many of the Mamluks and the Ottomans have. Ottoman infantry, generally, I personally feel worse in quality. And the Mamluk infantry, especially with those hordes, definitely worse in quality. Is this a general unit here? No, it won't be. Surely not. Actually, it might be. You never know. He's getting shelled, whatever he is. But here we go. The uh, Ottomans... Up and going again. These kind of like Janissaries, but I don't think they are. Problem is his range. I think the Ottomans, like I said, do outrange the French ever so slightly. Oh my gosh. Brutal shot there by the French, just putting holes into them. This infantry I'm not too worried about. This, this is what you want your cavalry to be taking out. Like one unit of cavalry, you could actually charge and kill a lot of this infantry. Um... It's this you need to worry about. I mean, you can't ignore this. Because it will still punish you. But uh, you, you can... You could throw this whole 290 men at it alone. And you'd probably do okay. Or bring the mercenaries back down. They could do the job. You just got to be careful. The French here... Oof. I don't know. That wasn't that brutal. The Ottomans are retreating. But I think they would have been okay. They could have taken the firefight. But why risk it? They're doing okay. Look at this weird unit. Archers. In this day and age. Oh, another uh, sort of janitory looking light unit. I want to see these guys fire. Oh my gosh. Here they have like bayonets on the end of their bows. Oh my gosh. Do they not actually have a bow unit in NTW3? Or like in Napoleon that they could have easily made this easier? They're not even marching probably. They're just shifting. What a weird unit. Oh, wow, yeah, the French just rally. These sappers charge and rally these guys instantly. Okay, so maybe the Ottoman troops aren't that great in melee. Uh, these ones aren't that great in melee. Maybe. Or maybe it's just, they just caught them at the right time with the sappers. They're going in amongst the hordes with their sappers. They're going to try and break as many of these guys as possible. Cavalry needs to be careful. The charges man, into the back of its infantry will break it. These sappers are paid for themselves. They've routed like a couple of units of infantry. They cause a bunch of chaos. Uh, they might route this one. Combat willing, uh, combat and winning decisively. Morale not like saying otherwise, so there you go, routed. And now will the cavalry continue? No, it was going to retreat. Probably the wise idea. Weird arch, and I can't get over it. It doesn't even look like it's firing. I don't know if it can fire. It's a cool unit to put in, though. I don't know if it really is uh, effective. But I, it is true. The Ottomans still use, like, archers and stuff like that to that day. Uh, building captured. The French captured a building. Not a bad idea. This is always a good a good way as well to combat the uh, the Ottomans. Is just to use buildings. The cavalry can't get inside buildings. That's a fact of life. So if you've got hundreds of cavalry, the Mamluks or the Ottomans, well, you're going to have to... You can't even dismount cavalry, actually. I just remembered in... Napoleon, so you're just gonna have to run around this building and just hope that uh, these guys run out of ammo and come out. Should be very stupid because you still stay in. These are grenadiers. 
It's going to be hard to get these guys out of there. And this one's just going to form square. They're making a fortress of a building here. Really nice. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be tough to deal with. But these French troops here have done quite well. They've actually nearly got back to this main uh, army over here. Where they are. It looks like they have taken a few casualties. It looks like they've lost a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they have lost an artery piece. They need to get back on it. That's what they need to do. They just make a like an L shape, though, of like, line infantry. It's just an absolute good... Like, massacre if you charge this. We've got the, the Royal Marine. We have the Royal Marines here. But yeah, we'll go back to the main fight anyway. I do apologize. This is the action over here, and I'm just what, looking at pretty units. But the Ottomans still retreating. Hopefully they got a trap uh, ready. I want to see this uh, gun emplacement here. Pit. It's not far away now. Uh, you can see the Ottomans with their better troops. I would say they're elite. I guess technically they are the elites of the army today, but the better troops are retreating. Napoleon's leading from the front, by the way. He has no fear of victory. I don't know if I'd be uh, so confident. We have uh, the 4th Grenadiers Le Barbares. These guys can't form square, by the way, and they are Grenadiers. It'll be a big loss. Hope they can be well protected. Um, nice little volley there. We've got the Royal Marines here as well. But they're taking a lot more casualties. This is not a healthy looking Royal Marines. Still got the big 300 man unit. Problem with the big 300 man unit. It's a prime target for artillery. It just attracts artillery shots as this unit. You just put holes into it every single second. Everyone goes, oh, big unit. Let's put some holes into that. And they'd be right to do so, especially with that French unit. Um, not so much for these guys. You put holes into them, you probably rally them pretty quickly, though. But, uh, yeah, I would not. I would not want to, uh, like, face these guys. I'd not be wanting to waste ammunition on these guys. Feel like that. Not, uh, artillery. Just like I said, one little Dragoon unit. And this one here might be the man to do it. Andre Boussard. He's been sent up with his dragoons. He's gonna get given the job, I think, of routing these uh, peasants, as we'll call them. There are infantry. There's better Mamluk infantry on the way. Men with their chests out. A, the only way to go to war, apparently. I mean, it is pretty hot, probably, in the desert. So uh, I would also probably fight with my with my shirt off. But here we go. Dragoons going in. Andre Boussard, given the job. In he goes. He's gonna route them. He'll route this one at least. Maybe right too. But he's going to get charged here by cavalry. Yeah, the cavalry charged into the back of his own infantry. Broke it. Um, but yeah, I imagine they will route the Dragoon unit, though. Um, two little peasant units for uh, a Dragoon. I, oh, I don't know. Oh, that's more Mamelukes. I thought, was that more French for a moment? I was like, that might change it. But no. The Mamelukes did, in fact, route the, uh, route the cavalry. I don't know whether for one Dragoon unit, getting, taking out two peasants is really worth it. Because, I mean... It's just so much more infantry over here. And you're, the French are running low on cav. Oh my gosh. What are the French doing? This Dassault player over here. He's got Rainier a long way out. I've got two Rainiers here, perhaps. But he's got a lot of infantry just going very far into the desert just to try and chase down cav. I mean, they can... Oh, no, they can't all form square. This one cannot form square. It's a sapper unit as well. Could be a handy unit. Um, but it cannot form square. It needs to uh, needs to get back to the main army. They shouldn't be just randomly chasing cavalry. What what are they thinking? They need to be in the front line helping the uh, the French right now. We've got a cavalry in here just taking fire. Don't know why it's just standing there. I thought for a moment was a horse artillery setting up, but it's not. It's just a random cavalry unit just standing here. I don't know, I feel like both sides kind of running out of ideas. The French, I mean, here are have to keep pushing forward. So I think that's all they think they can do at this point in time. Just keep pushing forward. Got a lot of infantry being dedicated, by the way, just defending Napoleon's ass. Got three units here alone doing that. And a gun. Oh, there's eight pounder coming up. They need to keep, I think, push this gun up as well. Uh, so this infantry unit here can possibly get into the fight. I mean, push it, you could push it up quite close if you wanted to. Here we go. I think a charge is coming from the Mamluks. 
If in doubt, Mamluks go for a charge. Here we go. They're going to go into these uh, mercenaries. Like I said, they can't form squares. Certainly the ones to go for. And yeah, they're going to route these guys. These are like the peasants for the French. They let the Mamluks have. Yeah, they've routed one. They're going to get a second. See, this is, I think, better. Not because... I'd say that maybe just base Barely these mercenaries are better than the peasants over there. But also the Mamluks can afford to lose cab. As far as I'm aware, they can still afford to lose cab. They may actually have none left, but we can't see. Uh, they're going to get three, maybe four. Maybe they're going to get all of them, actually. Oh, no, they didn't. They break there, but they took out a lot of infantry. And made a whole... Yeah, look at the huge square they formed, by the way. It's huge. They actually did make a whole load of problems there for the French. They lost a lot of infantry. Oh, no. And the French... Oh, they've left their... Art did they leave their artillery behind? Seriously? I don't know what was really wrong with this position, but I guess they want to just come over here and join Napoleon. The Sioux's dead. Oh, my gosh. What? What happened? I mean, we saw these troops running ages ago, but I mean, Murat... That's nothing new, I'm pretty sure. We saw his unit break ages ago. But uh, these Mercury better wins, I think they broke a while ago. But Sue's gone. That's a problem. And now we're seeing cavalry here just get thrown in. Yeah, this is a problem. And the French are doing okay. I mean, they've just got random infantry units running off in the desert. It seems really dumb. Another reserve cavalry Laguerre here going in. They're charging in. Morale and goes up and down. They've I don't know if they're gonna break this Mamluk unit. These are huge Mamluk cavalry units, by the way. Look at the amount of cavalry down there. You can see and look, this one over here. It's like a sea of cavalry. They broke in the French, no surprise there. And now it's just all Mamluk cav in the back line. Yeah, we've got the Dromedaries coming in now, and these guys are gonna maybe try and scare off this cavalry. I don't know if they're gonna have any success. I mean, I would expect they would. They are feared around the world. Oh, the Dromedary cavalry. But we will see. The regiment, the dromedaires. I mean, there's so much cavalry, though. No! I do not want to see these cavals die. Spare them, Mamelukes. Please, spare them. F in the chat. They are gone. Okay, well, I think now the French are without cavalry, and they may be in trouble now. I thought they were doing okay. I mean, they're pushing on hard here, and they're doing a good job here. But what is going on in the back lines, I do not know. Whoever's in charge of these French troops here needs a court martialing. I mean, they're literally just standing and just letting shoot, uh, cavalry shoot at them in the flank. Inaccurately, in fairness, they didn't even kill a single man. But they need to, like, turn and face and just put a volley into them, scare them off. The French, they're doing okay over here. They could do with more troops, though. I mean, it looks like we're getting fresh troops to the front. Along with some four-pounders. Because there are some tiny little units here. I mean, look at this. 19 men left to... Uh, to run the battle. I don't know what these uh, Ottomans here are doing. Just taking the fire from their allies. And they're not even looking the right way. They're going to get shot in the back by their enemies. Maybe that's the Ottoman thing. Just kill your own men. Yeah, like, they've got plenty of cav now. And here we go, here we go. Here's the charge they were waiting for. They saw the artillery setting up. This is a little bit too close. This four pounder is so set back so far that it was well protected. Now it's done for. Oh, there he goes. And they're going to run down that poor unit there, and they're going to now just smash into the next one by the looks of it here. This is the uh, the four pounder sitting up here. This uh, infantry trying to form square. But it doesn't matter because the gun's probably going to break, yeah. Thought it's just as much, but the, uh, the uh, infantry will be saved. This infantry needs to be careful. Sappers just sitting up here. They're going to put a few shots into them, maybe, as they run. Quickly, boys, fire! Or not. For the glory of France. Kill these horse-riding menaces. Our men are running. Sir. Or not. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just, just unaware of the chaos going on behind them right now. Unaware. I mean, they are, they are sort of, I mean, they're holding them at bay. They're forming just random squares everywhere and just trying to be a pain. Are they trying to go to this building over here? It's not a bad idea. Go and occupy some ruins. Get them just make yourself a pain, but be better. Like I said, they'd just be better 
rejoin with the main force. Oh, we've got some random Mamluks over here, dressed in green. Ready to take on the Les Ogres. I mean, I don't know why they didn't just stay in their square. we still got a carry all the way over there that's been forgotten about. Some Dragoons. Need them. They'll probably get picked off straight away, but... You, you need some cavalry at some point, Franz. Oh, we're going to see another cavalry charge here. French one going to form square? Don't know, but they just got spared they, because this cavalry just bottled it at the last second. Oh, big cab charge here. Again, being stopped by squares. They seem to be trying to pull through. I was going to say, I thought they were trying to pull through or something, but they're going to lose this cavalry. One volley and this cavalry unit's gone. Yep, broken just like that. Brutal. French infantry here breaking. Uh, Royal Avenue here breaking at uh, 15 men left. Pretty good, but they all break like that. Oh my gosh, there is actually still a sea of cavalry back here. Oh, these aren't cavalry, this is infantry. These are literally men with assorted weapons. The peasants have been brought up. My gosh. The Mamluks are bringing the trash today. There's still a lot. I honestly don't know if the French have got it in them to do it. I mean, look at this. We're seeing sort of a... Uh, the French getting cornered a little bit now. On this far side of the map. They could do it. It's still very doable. They just got to kill off. If they can kill off the trash. Kill some generals as well. Morale will start to uh, suffer. Here is the big artillery piece. Position we were talking about earlier. The Ottomans set up long ago. Being up here shelling the French as they march forward. Cavalry protecting it. Oh and there's so much infantry here. A mix of trash and good. Still some healthy units over here, 88 out of 90, 82 out of 90, so yeah, some healthy troops here to make the final push up this hill. Like I said, they've just got to get through the trash of the French and they can then, they've got a chance. Half a chance, but a chance. The cavalry, I mean, it's fairly ineffective unless it is going for things like generals, artillery, or units that can't form square. I mean, all that's left out of those, I think, is generals. And even then, I, I can't see many of them. I can't even see Napoleon. Yeah, I don't know where Napoleon's got to. That's not a good sign. Oh, God. They haven't killed Napoleon, have they? I have, I'm actually generally taking the time to try and fight. I think they might have got him. Anyway, cavalry back here being routed by the looks of it. The French doing a bit... Oh, my gosh. This is brutal. Firing this cavalry from running, multiple sir. sides here. But there's plenty of infantry up here. These are the guys. The scary-looking guys uh, with their swords ready to go. They've got plenty of melee infantry. Just charge him. French here pushing forwards. Good to see. Trying to force back. The Ottomans and the Mamluks. It's uphill fight here. Quite literally an uphill fight. Not looking too great. I mean, shelling this position here of the uh, Ottomans is on fire. You need to be careful when just marching in front of your own men that are shooting. You will kill your own men. Another carry charge. Looks like it's imminent. They're going to try and push back the 75th of the line here. And their glorious red coats. Clearly wishing they were British. Four square men. Charge could happen any any second. Oh, do another volley. Oh, jeez. Man just got domed there. I'm seeing a bayonet charge coming down the hill here. The Mamluks are making a charge. And to the Grenadiers, Le Gascon. One volley and that could be enough. Oh, no, I don't know. Maybe they should have charged in. Yeah, those Grenadiers are going to get routed. There's just not enough of them left. Just not enough of them left. Look at that. This is an elite looking cab unit. But it's found a gap in the line. It's going to get in behind and go after all the infantry it can. And this could be costly. If you can see infantry here also in behind. They could just start to fire on the backs of the French. Do what they want. Big charge here. Hitting infantry. Oh, these actually come from Square Legion. More teeth here. It's like a sailor's unit, I guess. Like sailors have been pulled up. They can't form square. The Lizard mid spells here. Trying to form square. Doesn't look like they will in time. And that's not a good sign. 
And the Mamluks charge, uh, the Ottomans here charging the back of the French and now they just need to sandwich them. They're going in and this looks like it. This looks like the last French hurrah. The cavalry here can just pick off whatever it likes with the French. I mean, the French had rather few units. I mean, these are just the trash units, but the cavalry is in amongst them now. It won't matter. Oh, they're rather this unit over here as well. Another invincible unit, apparently. The forming square now. It looks like it's just the time to form square and pray. How did the... Uh, oh, no, it didn't. I was going to say, how did the Legion Nautique survive? It did not, is the answer. Yeah, this, the French centre here that was pushing this hill. Uh, in real d deep trouble here. I mean, this unit could form square and it didn't. There's no infantry here to suggest that they uh, should have just been in line battle. Yep, just getting charged constantly now. The 75th line infantry also now in combat. Should just form square, you'd survive. Make it so much easier. Laguerre here. These guys can form square. They probably should have, because they're about to get charged. They're also probably just better in a line fight, they're more accurate. Yeah, the sentence is not looking good here. It was a last dis ditch push to maybe get to the top of this hill and get, get these guns. But yeah, I personally think the French are just too aggressive with their cavalry. Honestly, I think they're too aggressive and maybe a little bit too stretched out. Um, an ally general been killed. Oh, general here, so it's clearly like a, uh, a combat gen. He's now dead anyway. The Grenadiers, like Gascon's gone yet. Yeah, morale is just starting to shatter. The hordes, we never got to see the hordes in action. It's such a shame. There's still so many Mameluke units back here that never got to be uh, used as well. Another general dead. Don't know where he is. is that? Oh, it's the, the Sioux himself. Oh, he actually wasn't dead. He just routed. Okay. There's a final few French squares, but it's not looking good here. The Frenchies look like they're going to be defeated Our by the Ottomans running. and the Egyptians. And the Egyptians and the uh, Mamluks. I guess they are technically Egyptians. At this point. Sap is here. They could probably just turn around and charge this unit and probably route it. But it's not looking good. But yeah, I'd say the biggest mistake probably being made was... Being so aggressive with that, uh, with that cavalry. It's a tough one. I don't know whether the Ottomans should be a bit more aggressive. Um, just kind of like going off history. I can't really remember who's the aggressor really in. I mean, I know in the campaign, the French are technically the aggressors in the entire campaign because they are invaded a country. But um, I don't know if the Ottomans were the ones that were historically the ones that attacked. Quite possibly. Well, this uh, broken bow and arrow unit is doing the combat, slashing with their swords out now. Slashing and dicing uh, Rainier's here unit. I hope he's going to get out of there alive. He's got many more battles to fight. But it seems like the Egyptian campaign is going to be a failure before it's even really got started. The first battle, one of the first battles that they were ever in. Battle of the Pyramids. Not looking so great. There's a few squares left. They're just going to have to require a few uh, sword charges, a few bayonet charges from the Ottoman infantry. It seems like the cab has kind of become a little bit redundant now. Unless you just do try to decide to form square. Oh, well, I, I say that as one literally comes out of square. Why did you do this? It was safe in the square. And you broke. And that cab, by the way, is still all the way over there. A dragoon. And there's just two random units there as well. I don't know what happened in the back lines here. I don't know if someone just desynced or what. Um, and dropped. But the French on the right and the rear just kind of let down the uh, the frontal assault a little bit. But here we go. It's looking a little bit desperate now. Another Les Invincibles. You're going to have to be invincible if you're going to turn this battle around. You're going to have to be invincible. I mean... This cavalry's done pretty well. And I was right to think that there was endless amounts of, the of fatigue, sir, and must rest a Mameluke cavalry. They still have so much. 
And the Ottomans. The Ottomans still have a decent amount as well, actually. This is a cool-looking unit. I don't know if this is a general or what, but they are all looking very bright and pretty. And I don't know why, but we now got a frozen replay. I'm not entirely sure what the issue is. Yeah, I don't know, but I will make a cut here, and I will see you guys in a minute, probably with the end screen, because it looks like it's frozen, but we know what the victory is going to be. Um, it's going to be a... Uh, an Ottoman victory. It's just going to be a matter of time. So I'll see you guys in a moment. So I tried to get the uh, replay to uh, to work, to like progress, but it did not seem to want to do so. I then reloaded it and got it back to basically where we were. And it just the sa same thing happened again. It seemed to freeze. I don't know if it had something to do with the replay or not. It did happen with Slomensk as... Oh, I can't even say that word. Smolensk as well. Uh, I remember when we did that one. That uh, also had the same issue where it kind of just froze right at the end. Uh, which is a real shame because it would be nice to see the uh, the French get run down and see look at the results. Um, but yeah, I will I will just say thank you to Johnny the Buffoon and all those that took part. Um, I know Richard was in this one as well. Richard the Lionheart was in this one. Um, but yeah, well into all those that took part. Uh, it was a, a, a tough fight, certainly for the French. It always is when you um, play those sort of like Egyptian campaign ones. You need to play a bit more defensive, I feel. Uh, you can never be too aggressive because you kind of get picked apart as we saw in that in that fight there. But there you go, the Battle of the Pyramids has had a change in history. We have the Mamelukes and the Ottomans winning it. Maybe that will suggest maybe a revival of the Egypt, uh, the Ottoman Empire, who knows? And the French may just, like, I don't know, you, you never know what might happen. Napoleon may have died there at the battle. Um, he also may never have become um, the emperor because, I don't know, I mean, I guess he could still have because he, he did kind of just spin um, the Egyptian campaign even in reality when it was a bit of a failure so who knows but there you go a different uh, a different scenario a different outcome for a, a great scenario the battle of the pyramids an ottoman victory but anyway guys i'll see you in the next one